Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am really uncomfortable right now and I kind of want to just like hide underneath the desk, but you know what? I am doing this. I am being brave. Be brave, Tati. I am going to watch my very, very first video that I have privated because it is really very humiliating. So, you know, grab a snack, get prepared to be very entertained or cringe because ah, it's just gonna, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be so bad. All right, guys, who's ready for a metallic lilac smoky eye tutorial from 2010? <laughs> oh yes, I have been doing YouTube for a hot minute. I have made, I wanna say close to 1700 videos, 1800 videos, it's been a lot. I went through a phase where I was deleting a ton of them because I was super embarrassed. I don't recommend ever doing that to anyone. Um, you know, I'm trying to come full circle and be proud of where I came from. We're gonna hop in to the Metallic Lilac Smoky Eye tutorial. I have to tell you that this was a video that I made without telling anyone. Like James went off to a meeting. We hadn't even been dating for a year. I rearranged the entire living room because I wanted to find a good window to sit in front of. So I dragged the dining room table in front of the window. I had all this makeup set out. This took what felt like an eternity to film and an even longer time to edit because I didn't really even know how to like hook the footage into the computer. Like basically what I'm telling you is I knew nothing, nothing about focus, lighting, video quality, none of that. I didn't have the greatest of camera, but you can start wherever you are at. And if you're willing to look foolish to become great, that's a favorite quote of mine from Cher, God bless her. Um, you know, you're not gonna be great at anything until you're willing to look foolish. I wholeheartedly believe that. I can't believe I'm actually showing this one because I've gotten in like throwdown fights with people over wanting to watch this. Like I'll have family be like, oh, let me see that first video. That was hilarious. And I'll like shut the laptop and be like, no way, it's so just bad, you know, and like really, emotional about it. Um, I haven't watched this in years, so maybe this is not the best idea, but you know what? Three, two, one, let's just go there and do a reaction video. This is the very first one, guys. Deep breaths, it's really cringy, super embarrassing. My roots look horrible, my skin looks horrible. I talk really slow. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, Tatiana, the glam life guru. Ooh, look at that shine. Metallic lilac smoky eyes. Hi guys, eyes. this is my very first tutorial. I'm so excited. This is a purple smoky eye. And why am I in front of my door? Like, why am I sitting there in front of my front door? And I like lit candles and pushed frames over. Oh my God. Gorgeous smoky eye then stay tuned and you're gonna get- Oh no, oh my God, I can't even watch makeup. this. Why, go get your no, eyebrows done. Oh my gosh. Yes, oh dear Lord. No makeup. Oh wow. Okay, the other thing is I was not comfortable in front of a camera at all. So I talked like so extra slow and I would not raise my voice at all. And I did this for like a couple of years. Oh, funny insert. Props to the first time editing right there. Um, and uh, what that means oh my is gosh. I always start with my eye look first and then I move to the face. Oh, Tati. The benefits of applying makeup backwards. Moisturizer and primer have more time to absorb into the skin, preventing any possible blotchiness from foundation. If you experience any fallout, you can clean it up with a makeup remover. You know what? I still stand by that tip. One of these little guys. This is Almay's oil-free makeup removing pads. Still love those. They are like this. Oh my and gosh. And I will just, you know my finger in here and wipe it trying away. to teach trying to let everybody pattern. know how to get rid of that fallout in there and really create a nice line so these work so well and i feel like they do some kind of firming under the eye i don't know maybe that's just me maybe that's but just me those. so let's get started i'm going to prime with tarts clean slate primer and i'm just going to apply this all over the face Apply a face primer of your choice. Right, now I'm gonna prime my eyes. Wait, that was too fast. I couldn't even read that. To give a little extra stain power. I'm gonna be using Maybelline's oh Stylish my God. Smoke Squad. No way. The okay, the Stylish Smoke Squad back in the day was so good. They changed the formula, but it used to be really, really good. It was one of my favorites. This is Tarte's holiday collection oh my God, yes. 
that thing like opened up all crazy and had like drawers of blush and all these like lip glosses. Try not to laugh at this kit. It's so loved. You can kind of see this taupe shade. Use any matte taupe shade you like. Ooh, okay, we are getting an extreme close up here. Um, again, this was back in the day before professional lighting or any kind of good quality camera that would maybe make you look a little bit better. Like my skin looks kind of like not the greatest color because it's this, I didn't know how to color balance anything. And I'm like maybe a little bit too close up there. I don't know that you needed to see that much, you know? But I was really going for it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little uh, kind of stubbier crease brush. This is from Mirabella, it's just their crease brush. Oh my God. I'm gonna take a little bit of the color and I'm gonna work it into the crease. No. Yeah, back in the day, I loved working with cream products. Like that was my thing. I could get ready fast. I would just sh sh blend done. I also really loved that too. I was all about metallics, always. I don't think that ever really changed. I'm gonna be using the purple shade. Very beautiful, inexpensive. Very beautiful, inexpensive. That was really good too. I loved that eye gloss. I used it so much until like the label wiped off. I'm gonna use just a tiny brush. You could even use a lip brush for this. See, I was always trying to bring you guys tips and tricks and like make your makeup life easier, like even from day one. Oh my gosh, I am trying so hard. I wanted this so bad. I wanted to do what I'm doing right now from the start. Like this was the big dream. Like I wanted subscribers, I wanted to teach, I wanted to make everyone feel like they could do makeup and feel so good about themselves. Um, oh my goodness. Dude, shaky eyelids even back then. That has not changed either. I need some nail polish is actually something else that I am noticing. Oh my goodness. And softly line the inner rim. I'm just taking way too long to explain anything like I'm not editing anything it's just like long awkward pauses of me like holding the product trying to get it in focus oh my god <laughs> if you have any shadow fallout now is the time to sweep it away with that oil free makeup pad that I showed you in the beginning Magic, my foundation okay. is done. On okay, so I skipped that part. Oh yeah, because I was planning on doing a foundation video that I never did. I'm gonna take a brown eye pencil. Okay, and we can see those 90s overplucked eyebrows. Ugh, what I would give to turn back time and not like tweeze away the life of my eyebrows. I never had much to begin with, but I still did some damage, you know? Oh, here's another tip. If you don't have brow gel, use hairspray on a brow brush. Finally, I prefer to apply mascara after face powders. I mean, I have a lot of really legit tips in this video, I think, you know? I'm gonna be using a it's not bad. From Julie Hewitt. I have no idea who that is. I, just I have no idea who that is. I still don't know who Julie like Hewitt it. is. But you can use any nude. But I remember this. This was how I, I would like ombre really my lips to make them look a lot bigger. No very casually just get the inside oh my lord of my lip this is what i like to call inner lining making up names for things they will what is up lips. with the color so of my hair though seriously it's just a really nice nude and it does stay on really well i like that oh no what am i doing tati just end the video Oh, holy Lord, I forgot that I did an outfit of the day at the end of this. Oh my God, I'm so awkward. Oh, wow, what are you wearing? Why? Go hide somewhere. Oh, I can't take this. My cuff, my dollar earrings from downtown. Oh my God, no. My Magnolinks bracelet.
No way. Oh my God. Oh no, stop. Why did I do the intro again at the end? Ah, oh my God. Okay. You know what? That was actually not as bad as I thought it was in my mind because I have not watched this in years. Like I refused to, I didn't want anyone to see it. I thought it was like just so awful, but this is kind of cute. You know, I was really trying. I was not comfortable in front of a camera. I was not comfortable in front of most people, to be honest. I was really, really self-conscious and really insecure. And when I started YouTube, I had this big wild dream that it could be this big success. And it was kind of like my last chance in my mind at least, that I would have for like a really cool career because everything else that I had tried just hadn't worked out. And I started this, yes, as a hobby, but I had it in the back of my head. Like I always had this idea that if I put more work in, that it really could turn into something big. I just had that feeling in my stomach. And I wanna say, if you have that feeling about anything in your life, just you know, don't wait, just start, just go for it. I posted that video and then I waited like three months before posting another one because I was so self-critical. And along the way, I kept beating myself up. You know, I didn't have the cool clothes, the cool makeup, the cool jewelry. I didn't have cool anything. And it just really sat with me in such a heavy way. But I'm so proud that I kept with it and that I kept working and that things got better and I got to do cooler experiences and meet people and I am so grateful to be sitting here today you know six ish years later in this incredible beauty space and not in a living room in front of a door with no lighting that's just really really cool so oh my gosh yeah I didn't think that I would get so kind of heavy heart you know, watching that, but it is really cool. Yeah, I wanted to do a giveaway. I have three separate prizes that are valued at $1,000 each, and I'm gonna have all the rules in the description box below. Here on YouTube, make sure you are subscribed, and um, I'll have separate ways to enter in the description box. And then I am gonna also give away on Snapchat and Twitter, because I did my last giveaway on Instagram. So I'm gonna kind of keep scattering things about on all the different platforms, because I know that you guys are always like, I don't follow you there, or I don't have that. And I wanna give everyone a chance to win somewhere so really easy ways to enter they will be in the description box below winners are chosen at random and yeah um so hey look at me distracting you with free makeup at the end of this video instead of a lot of the weird kind of mm, moments throughout me sharing my first video with you guys all right i do hope you enjoyed this if you did and you want more because i did not start youtube a year ago or two years ago i started it many years ago and what I was thinking is I could pick kind of the best moments from my very first year of YouTube and do like a reaction to my first year. So if you guys think that would be cool, please give this video a thumbs up. I love you so much and if you have been here with me from the beginning, whew, that's gonna make me emotional. Thank you. Because my life has changed in so many amazing ways. So, um, this is a happy tear. This is a happy little little moment. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm thrilled that I, I'm just really thrilled that I get to do what I do. So thank you guys. I love you. Have an amazing weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.